Hi guys and welcome back. So how to build your sniper bot for Solana meme coins. That's something that so many people want to build just to make money because yes, the meme coins are making money for so many people. But what's the truth? Let's discover that together. In this video, I will tell you exactly what you can and what you can't do. And just before to start, guys, don't forget that this channel is about educational content. Nothing has to be intended as financial advice. Remember to leave us a big, big thumbs up, drop a comment to the comment section. And if you want to join our private group, feel free to check out the link in the description and also the comment section below. OK, let's start. So just the other day, I stumbled upon this post by this KOL that has like more than 100,000 people following him. And he was telling us how to build completely for free because even the ChatGPT version was the free version and how to build a sniper bot that he was pretending he has been testing out for a while. Well, let me say it clear in order not to make you waste other time if you're just looking for an answer on how to build for free without any code skill on how to build your sniper bot. The long story short is it's impossible. There is no way, guys, for you to build any kind of sniper bot that can work if you don't know how to code and specifically if you want to make money. And I will explain to you exactly why. And after that, I will also tell you what on the other side you can do, because there are a couple of things that you can build just using ChatGPT, but you need to know another couple of stuff. So, but let's go back to this post, because to be fair, I was pretty excited because as a non-tech guy, I was literally looking for something to build with ChatGPT, something that can give me like an edge. So I said, oh my God, that's incredible. Let's try it out. And I tried out obviously, and unfortunately it wasn't working. And it's not working for several reasons. First of all, because when you use ChatGPT, many of the libraries that ChatGPT will share with you are not the most updated. And that's a big problem, specifically if you want to use this kind of stuff with your money, guys. That's the big point. Would you ever use something that is not 100% sure, secure, and giving it your money? Well, I wouldn't personally, and I highly encourage you to not do anything like that. There is a reason why there are so many bots that are paid uh, so much. And it's, and it's mainly for two main reasons. First of all, first of all reliability. You, the thing should be reliable. And the second reason is about the speed and efficiency on how they are able to fulfill all the tasks. Think about this thing, guys. If it was so easy to build just a sniper bot with ChatGPT and start earning money, you know what's the point. It wouldn't work either. And it's mainly because not everyone can make money. That's the rule number one on the market. There are people who are losing money and there are people who are earning money. Specifically, if we are talking just about something like mini coins at the end of the story, are pumping and most of the time going simply to zero. So if anyone is earning, it means that someone else has lost money. And if we have anything like that that is working, it's not giving any kind of edge because if everyone is using something, well, it's not anymore an edge. Moreover, even if, if, if it was working, the point is that there are other people that are having more money than us that can build something that is more efficient. I don't know if you know exactly how the whole story works in the moment when you try to buy a mini coin. Let me explain to you just in a moment. A sniper bot, what it's, it's, it's doing is it identifies something, or better, you tell it what to identify, and it's buying it immediately. The point is that at a certain price, in a certain moment, not everyone can buy at that time, at that price. It's simply impossible because the liquidity into that pool at that price it's limited, so not everyone can buy. So how to buy it? Well, simply the transactions that will be executed are the ones that are having the highest priority fee, plus obviously are the ones that are executed and are received in the fastest way as possible. So to, from a technical perspective, what you need is a highly efficient infrastructure that is working as fast as possible. On the other side, 
what it's giving you an edge is putting more money into the priority feed. So if more people were competing for the same kind of thing, because everyone is simply able to do the same just by building something through ChatGPT, the result would be that priority fee would go higher and you would be cut out either way. So the whole story short is that uh, it doesn't matter, guys, if ChatGPT works or, or it's not. Because the reality is that there is no way to make real money out of that. Because when something is too easy, it's not anymore an edge. So my big suggestion is, guys, don't look for shortcuts. There is no shortcut. If you find any, most of the time, and I would say 99% of the times, is just engagement grabbing. And this is exactly what this post is about, this other, this other, and so on, because there are many that are simply uh, copy cutting the same kind of stuff and pretending that something can work while it can't. So guys, I hope that this brief review helped you to understand why this thing, it can't work and don't waste money. Personally, I spent more than one day just trying to understand if there was a way out, if you can build something through a chat GPT, the answer is not. If you want to know more and more details about why it can't work, I highly encourage you to join the different groups where they are talking about this stuff. And for example, I just made this screenshot and I want to share with you because I think it's pretty interesting to see how and why something can work. And one of the biggest problems is about CAPTCHA. What is a CAPTCHA? It is something that is put in place by the website in order to avoid you to grab data. Why? Because if too many bots are grabbing data from that website, well, the cost and the speed for that uh, uh, for that platform will be detrimental. So they are cutting out all the bots. So you need to have some kind of skills to go through this kind of stuff. Another thing that many of these threads are mentioning is using TweetScout. That is a great tool. You can use it by yourself using a desktop version, but it's tough to use it as a scraper for the same reason of a CAPTCHA, or on the other side, you can use an API, but using an API requires, one, understanding how the API works, second, paying, because in this case, it's a paid API. So as you can understand, it's not so easy as they are trying to sell you. Okay, let's go a step back and let's try to understand what you can for real doing with a chat GPT. So let's start saying that whatever you will build with a chat GPT, you need anyway a way to deploy it. What does it mean deploying? It means that this script or whatever you are building has to run in some kind of environment that usually is a server where you install this kind of application and this application will work. There are different ways that you can deploy an application. The easiest way, at least in my opinion, is using Colab by Google, simply because it's an environment, just plug and play that you can use from one side for free and on the other side, even if you don't have any kind of skills. So you don't have to install Python on your computer. You don't have to do all these things that, are, that could be complicated if you are just a newbie. Obviously, be aware that using Colab, it means that we are using the most basic thing that is not the most performing, is not the fastest, and so on. So do not expect to build a sniper. Forget about snipers. They don't work, and it's even complicated to be profitable with that kind of stuff. If you want to do money through snipers, buy something that is a good performing sniper that you already know their performances, that has been tested, and so on. Use them pay if it's necessary, but it's the only really way out. On the other side, when you use Colab uh, by Google, what you can do using, for example, ChatGPT is asking ChatGPT to build uh, like a script that you can use, for example, on TradingView. This is something that is possible. The more you do something that is small, precise, and it has a scope that it doesn't require to go through any kind of CAPTCHA, doesn't require API and anything too complex, it's more even better if it doesn't require you to uh, do transactions. Honestly speaking, again, I highly discourage you to use any, or better, to build anything just by yourself if you don't have skills that is performing any kind of transaction. Because the most probable outcome is that it will not work and even if it's working, you don't know if what you're using is really safe. So why to use it? 
if you want if you don't have skills buy something and use something that has been tested audited and so on don't build something by yourself while on the other side you can build through ChatGPT something that is analyzing the chart for trading view that is collecting data on specific websites that maybe are having a lower level of defenses and so on. There are different kinds of things that you can do, but you have to think about, okay, what I need, which is the, literally the minimum kind of action that I can perform, and start using, start asking ChatGPT. Ask it like, okay, can you tell me what's the limit of this kind of strategy? Do you have any suggestion? This is the right way to use it. Don't follow these kind of threads because in the best in the best way they will just make you waste time. So guys, use ChatGPT. It's powerful as a tool, but use it in the right way. Okay, guys, I hope that this brief review about ChatGPT, sniper bots, and so on help you to better understand how to use this kind of tech. It's powerful, but it requires this kind of approach and this kind of awareness. Guys, don't forget to leave us a big, big thumbs up. Drop a comment to the comment section. And if you want to join us also into our private group, feel free to do that. You can find all the links in the description below. Thank you, guys. And I will see you soon with another video. Bye.